Welcome back to the next part of the Minecraft Pixel Art tutorial series for Pennywise. If you become a channel member today, you will instantly gain access to the other Pixel Art tutorial parts that the current channel members have access to. You'll also gain early access to the other Pixel Art tutorial parts that I'm working on. If you become a level 2 channel member, you'll have your name featured at the end of every Powu video, and if you become a level 3 member, you'll have your name featured at the end of every Minecraft video, which includes the Powu tutorial, time lapse, and showcase videos. Don't forget, the best way to get into contact with me is through my Discord. I'll be leaving a link to my Discord down below in the description. And if you're a channel member, you gain the channel member role within my Discord once you link your YouTube account with your Discord account. Once you're in my Discord, you have the opportunity to join my Minecraft Realms where you have a chance to play survival or creative mode with me, and if you're a channel member, you'll gain access to the channel member realms. Also, don't forget about my other social media, I'll be leaving the links to them down below in the description, and if you're on the Windows 10 edition or on the Xbox, go ahead and send me a message or a screenshot of the progress you're making with this pixel art tutorial or any of my other pixel art tutorials. So we're going to go ahead and start off from uh, this area right here, this empty space from the previous part where we started from the top and we were working our way from the top going down to the bottom. So we're going to start off by switching over to the gray wall. So let's switch over to the gray wall. And from this empty space, we're going to go to the top right corner and we're going to go to this one black concrete. On the left side of it, we're going to start from here. We're going to be adding from here four sets of twos going down on the left. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three and one, two, four. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. Head back down. And from here, we're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal down to the left. So that's one, two, and three. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. Once you've done that, you're going to switch over to the light gray wool. And with the light gray wool, from this empty space here, at the very bottom of it, on top of these two black concretes, we're going to be adding one light gray wool. So that's one, then we're going to move over here to the left on top of this black concrete. So from here, we're going to be adding four light gray walls going diagonal up to the right. So that's one, two, three, and four. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placement. Head back up here. And now we're going to be putting a placement block on top of this light gray wall. So that's one. And now starting on top of this placement block, we're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal down up uh, up to the right. Three diagonal up to the right with light gray wool. So that's one, two, three. Get rid of the placement block. Switch back over to the placement block. Add a placement block on top of the light gray wool. So that's one. Switch back over to the light gray wool. And on top of this placement block, we're going to be adding two blocks going diagonal up to the right. So two diagonal up to the right. That's one and two. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placement block. And then once you've done that, you're going to switch over to the light gray concrete. And with the light gray concrete, we're going to be filling in the remaining empty spaces here with the light gray concrete. These little, these little single empty spaces here we left in between the light gray walls. So let's fill those in with the light gray concrete. There we go. I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. Now, once we've done that, we're going to switch over to the gray wall. And we're going to move over here to the left to the bottom left-ish corner of this empty space, so it's all the way over here. So on the right side of these three black concretes, we're going to be adding one gray wool to the right, so that's one. Next, you're going to be placing one gray wool going up to the right, that's one. And then you're going to be placing three blocks going across on the upper level to the right. So that's one, two, three. Next, we're going to be placing one gray wool on top of the middle block of these three, so one block on top of the middle, so that's one. And then once we've done that, what we're going to do next is we're going to be switching over to the cyan terracotta. And we're going to be adding one cyan terracotta on top of this one gray wall. So that's one. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing three blocks going up on the right. That's one, two, three. And now we're going to head back down here. And we're going to start on the right side of this gray wall, going back down here. On the right side of this gray wall, we're going to be adding two cyan terracottas going to the right. So that's one, two. Next, you're going uh, to be placing just one block going down to the right. That's one. And now we're going to move one block down. And on the right side of these two black concretes, we're going to be adding one cyan terracotta. So that's one. Now we're going to do the same thing. Let's go down here. And on the right side of these two black terracottas, we're going to be adding one. Uh, I should say on the, on the right side of these two black concretes, we're going to be adding one cyan terracotta. So that's one. And then we're going to do that one more time. On the right side of the, these two, we're going to be adding one cyan terracotta. That's one. 
So I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. Go ahead and pause the video now if you need to, just to compare. Now we're going to be switching over to the gray concrete. Now with the gray concrete, let's head back up here. Let's go back to these three gray walls. Underneath these three gray walls, we're going to be adding three gray concretes going across underneath it. So that's one, two, three. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing four sets of twos going across on the lower level to the right. Four sets of twos. So it's one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, and one, two, four. That's four sets of twos. Let's go ahead and get rid of this placement. Head back over here. And now we're going to switch over to the gray wool, and we're going to be adding one gray wool on the right side of these two gray concretes. So that's one gray wool. And now we're going to head back up here. Let's go ahead and switch over to the cyan terracotta. And with the cyan terracotta, starting from the right block of these three gray walls going across, so starting from here, we're going to be placing one cyan terracotta going up to the right. That's one. Now from this one block, we're going to be placing two sets of twos going across on the lower level to the right. So that's one, two, one, and one, two, two. And now we're going to be placing three blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two, three. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two. And once we've done that, we're going to head back up here. We're going to go all the way back up here. We're going to switch over to the gray concrete. And underneath these two black concretes that we have here going across, we're going to be placing two gray concretes going across underneath it. So that's one, two. Now, once you've done that, we're going to head over here to the right. And underneath the right block of these three black concretes, so from here, we're going to be adding two gray concretes going to the left. That's one, two. And now switch over to the gray wool. Add one gray wool to the left. That's one gray wool. Now let's go ahead and head over here to the head over here to, to the right and starting underneath the right block of these three black concretes. Same thing. We're going to switch over to the gray concrete and we're going to be adding two gray concretes going to the left. That's one, two. Then we're going to be switching over to the gray wool. Add one gray wool to the left. That's one. And then we're going to be switching over to the cyan terracotta and we're going to be adding one cyan terracotta on the left. That's one. Now we're going to be doing the exact same thing again. Let's head over here to the right, starting underneath the right block of this of these three blind concretes. We're going to be adding two gray concretes going to the uh, to the left, underneath the right. So underneath the right, to the left, go to one, two. Switch over to the gray wool, add one gray wool to the left. That's one. And then switch over to the cyan terracotta and add one cyan terracotta. So that's one. Now, still with the cyan terracotta in our hand, we're going to move over here to the right, and underneath the left block of these two black concretes here, so starting from here, we're going to be adding two cyan terracottas going to the left. That's one, two. Now, once we've done that, we're going to switch back over to the gray wall. And with the gray wall, let's head back over here to the left, and we're going to start underneath the left block of these two gray concretes, so starting from here going to be adding two gray walls going diagonal down to the right. So that's one and two. Next, we're going to be placing two sets of twos going across on the lower level to the right. So that's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Let's go ahead and get rid of this placement. And now we're going to be placing one block going down to the right. That's one. Once we've done that, let's go ahead and switch back over to the cyan terracotta. And with the cyan terracotta, starting uh, on the right side of this gray wool, we're going to be adding one cyan terracotta. So that's one. And now starting underneath this gray wool, we're going to be adding four cyan terracottas going to the right. That's one, two, three, four. And now we're going to be placing one block going down to the right. That's one. Let's head back up here. This time we're going to start on the left side of this one gray wall. So starting from here, we're going to be adding two sets of twos going across on the upper level to the left. So that's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Next, we're going to be placing one block going up to the left. That's one. So I'll fly back a bit so you can see that everything should look exactly like this so far. Go ahead and pause the video now if you need to, just to compare. Because now we're going to be switching over to the light gray 
concrete. And with the light gray concrete, we're going to be filling in these four single empty spaces here that we've just created. These four empty spaces get filled in with the light gray concrete. Let's go ahead and do that now. All right. Filling this in with you in real time. I don't think I need to edit this out. It's not that large of an area, but I think if it's going to be like this for the others, we're probably going to edit this filling part out. All right. There we go. And when we're done filling it in, it should look like this. So now let's go ahead and move down here to this next empty space. And let's see, we're going to go ahead and work on filling these little empty spaces here first. Let's switch over to the gray concrete. Over here to the left, this empty space here to the left gets filled in with the gray concrete. Let's fill this in. Next, you're going to be switching over to the gray wool. And we're going to be filling in this empty space here with the gray wool. Okay, so now once we've done that, let's switch over to the cyan terracotta. And with the cyan terracotta, starting on the right side of these three blind concrete, so from here, we're going to be adding three cyan terracottas going to the right. So that's one, two, three. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing one block going up to the right. That's one. And then once we've done that, we're going to head down here. And on the right side of these three black concretes, we're going to be adding three cyan terracottas going to the right. So that's one, two, three. Next, we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two. And now we're going to be placing one block going down to the right. That's one. Once you've done that, uh, we're going to be switching over to the light gray wool, and we're going to be placing one light gray wool going down to the right. That's one. Okay, so now what we're going to do next from here is we're going to be switching over to the gray wool. And with the gray wool, we're going to move back up here. We're going to be placing one gray wool on top of the right block of these two cyan terracotta. So on top of the right, so that's one gray wool. Now, once you've done that, starting on the, let's see, starting on the right side of these two gray, or not the gray, but starting on the right side of these two cyan terracottas, starting from here with the gray wool, we're going to be adding four blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one, two, three, and four. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. And once you've done that, let's head down here on the right side of this uh, cyan terracotta. So from here, we're going to be adding two gray wools going to the right. So that's one, two. And now we're going to be placing one gray wool going down to the right. That's one. Okay, now, so from here, we're going to be switching over to the light gray wool. So switching over to the light gray wool, starting from this one gray wool here, we're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal up to the right. So three diagonal up to the right, so that's one, two, and three. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. Once you've done that, we're going to start from the right block of these two gray wools, starting from here. We're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal up to the right with the light gray wool, so that's one, two, three. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. And now let's head back again to these gray wools here. Going back to these gray wools. Starting on top of the left block. So from here, we're going to be placing four light gray wools going diagonal up to the right. That's one, two, three, four. So I'll fly back a bit so you can see that everything should look exactly like this. Go ahead and pause the video now if you need to, just to compare. So now we're going to switch over to the cyan terracotta. And with the cyan terracotta, we're going to move over here to the right, and we're going to start on top of this gray con uh, this gray wool. So starting from here with the cyan terracotta, we're going to be placing from here five sets of twos going across on the upper level to the left. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, four, and one, two, five. That's five sets of twos with the cyan terracotta. And now let's head back down here, and we're going to go back to this gray wool. And from this one gray wool, we're going to be placing one cyan terracotta going up to the right. That's one. And now from this one cyan terracotta, we're going to be placing one block going up to the left. That's one. And now from this one block, we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing one block going up to the left. 
select that one. And now from this one block, we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. So that's one, two. And now from here, we're going to be switching over to the gray concrete. So let's switch over to the gray concrete. And with the gray concrete, we're going to be placing one block going up to the left. That's one. Now from this one block, we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two. And now place one block going up to the left. That's one. And once we've done that, we're going to switch over to the gray wall. And we're going to be filling in this empty space here with the gray wall. Let's fill this in with gray wall. And then we're going to be switching over to the... Let's see. We're going to be switching over to the light gray concrete. Where is it? Okay, there it is. <laughs> now with the light gray concrete, we're going to be filling in these two empty spaces here with the light gray concrete. Fill this in. And then we're going to head back over here to the right, and we're going to be filling in these empty spaces here, including all of these em other empty spaces. All of these little single empty spaces here, including this empty space here, get filled in with the light gray concrete. So let's go ahead and fill those in. Now, let's fill these in in real time. And also this space. There we go. So I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. Now, we're going to switch over to the Cyan Terracotta again. So let's switch over to the Cyan Terracotta, and we're going to move back up here. Let's go back to this one gray concrete. Underneath it, we're going to be adding three Cyan Terracottas going to the left. That's one, two, three. I'm actually going to be placing one block going down to the left. That's one. And now from this one block, what we're going to do next is we're going to be switching back over to the gray concrete. Now with the gray concrete, let's move to the bottom left corner of this area right here. So going next to this black concrete, so from here, we're going to be placing from here three blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one, two, and three. And once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the black wall. And with the black wall, we're going to be filling in this empty space here to the left with the black wall. Let's put one black wall there. Then we're going to be switching back over to the gray wool. Now with the gray wool, starting from this empty space here, we're going to be placing three gray wools going diagonal down to the left. So that's one, two, and three. Once you've done that, switch back over to the cyan terracotta. And starting on the right side of this gray wool here, we're going to be adding two sets of threes going across on the lower level to the right. So that's one, two, three, one, and one, two, three, two. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two. Alright, and now we're going to switch over to the cyan terracotta. Or not the cyan terracotta, sorry. We're going to be switching over to the light gray concrete. Now with the light gray concrete, we're going to be filling in this empty space here, the remaining empty space here, with the light gray concrete. So let's go ahead and fill this in with the light gray concrete. There we go. So now I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. Perfect. Okay, so now we're going to be switching back to the gray concrete. So let's switch over to the gray concrete now. We're going to move down here to this next empty space. And we're going to start from the right side. So I want you to go here and find this one black concrete. We're going to start on the left side of it. So starting from here, we're going to be adding two sets of twos going down on the left. So that's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Let's get rid of that placement. And now from here, we're going to be placing five blocks going down on the left. That's one, two, three, four, five. Let's head back up here, get rid of that placement block. And then once we've done that, we're going to be switching over to the light gray wool. And with the light gray wool, similar to what we did up here and up there as well, we're going to be doing a checkboard patterns like we did over here. So let's start from down here. And we're going to start at the very bottom right corner of this empty space here. So it's going to be on top of the right block of these three. So starting from here, all we're going to be doing is filling this area in with a checkboard pattern of the light gray concrete. Or not light gray concrete, light gray wool. So that's one, two. So we're going to start off with just placing two blocks going diagonal. And all we're going to do now is just fill this area with the checkboard pattern. So we're just going to place one there. I'm going to place another one here. And you should get it by now, the checkboard pattern. We've done it in... Uh, several pixel art tutorial parts, not just for this one, but other tutorial series as well. 
So let's just fill this area here with the checkboard pattern. Don't worry, I'll pause the video after we're done placing the checkboard pattern just so you can pause it and see how it should look. So I'll fly back a bit so you can see that everything should look exactly like this. All we did was just put the checkboard pattern in this empty space. Okay, so now we're going to be switching over to the light gray concrete. And with the light gray concrete, we're going to be filling in this empty space here, all the remaining empty spaces here, with the light gray concrete. So let's go ahead and fill this in with the light gray concrete. There we go. Fill that right up, and it should look like that. Okay, so next, we're going to move back over here to the left, and let's switch back over to the light gray wool. So starting with the light gray wool, we're going to start at the very top left corner of this empty space here. So starting all the way over here, on the right side of this black concrete, we're going to be adding from here four sets of twos going across on the lower level to the right. Four sets of twos. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, four. That's four sets of twos. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. Oops, didn't mean to get rid of that. Just give me one second. There we go. Alright, so now let's head back over here. Now from here we're going to be placing three blocks going across on the lower level to the right. So that's one, two, three. Next you're going to be switching over to the light gray concrete. And we're going to be placing one light gray concrete on the right side, so that's one. And then we're going to be switching back over to the light gray wool. And we're going to be placing one light gray wool on top, on the right side, and underneath it. So we're going to be covering this block with the light gray wool. So one on top, one on the right, and one underneath. So it should look like this. So once we've done that, what we're going to do next from here is we're going to be switching over to the gray wool now. So let's switch over to the gray wool. And with the gray wool, we're going to start from on top of these five gray concretes. So starting from right there, we're just going to be adding one gray wool. So that's one. And now from this one block, we're going to be placing three blocks going across on the upper level to the left. So that's one, two, three. So now what we're going to do next is we're going to be placing three sets of twos going across on the upper level to the left. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, and one, two, three. There we go. Let's get rid of those placements. And now from here we're going to be placing one block going up to the left. So that's one. And once we've done that, what we're going to do next is we're going to head, uh, let's head all the way down here to the very bottom right corner of this empty space. And we're going to be switching over to the cyan terracotta. We're going to be adding one cyan terracotta on top of this black concrete. So that's one cyan terracotta. And then we're going to be switching over to the gray wool. And we're going to be adding one gray wool on the left side of this cyan terracotta. So that's one gray wool to the left. And once you've done that, switch back over to the cyan terracotta. And we're going to be starting on top of this sign terracotta. We're going to be adding three blocks going to the left. That's one, two, three. Next, you're going to be switching back over to the gray wool. Add one gray wool to the left. So that's one gray wool. And now we're going to be switching back over to the sign terracotta. And on top of this gray wool here, we're going to be adding two sign terracottas going to the left. That's one, two. Switch back over to the gray wool. Add two gray wools going to the left. That's one, two. Now we're going to be switching back over to the cyan terracotta. And we're going to start on top of the right block of these two gray wools. So starting from here, we're going to be adding two blocks going to the left with the cyan terracotta. So that's one, two. And then from here, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the left with the cyan terracotta. So that's one and two. Let's go ahead and get rid of that placement block. And now we're going to be switching back over to the gray wool. And we're going to be filling in this empty space here with the gray wool. So let's fill this in with gray wool. So it should look like this. Now once you've done that, we're going to move over here to the left and we're going to start on top of this black concrete that's making contact with this other cyan terracotta that we just placed here. So starting from here, we're going to be adding two gray wools going to the right. That's one, two. Next, you're going to be placing three blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two, three. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two. And now we're going to be placing three blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two, three. Let's go ahead and get rid of that placement block. Fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. 
Now, before we fill this, um, all these little empty spaces in, what we're going to do is just quickly switch back over to the light gray wall. And with the light gray wall, we're going to move up here to the right. We're going to go to these three black concretes here. On the left side of it, we're going to place a light gray wall on the left. So that's one light gray wall. So it should look like that. Okay, now we're going to be switching back over to the light gray concrete. And with the light gray concrete, we're going to be filling in the remaining empty spaces here with the light gray concrete. So let's go ahead and fill this in with the light gray concrete. Fill this right in. And we're going to get as much done as possible for his collar, for Pennywise's collar. There we go, fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. Very simple, very easy. Alright, so now what we're going to do next is we're going to work on this area right here. And to do this, let's go, uh, we'll also have to kind of close that little area off there. So to do that, we're first going to be starting with the gray wool. So let's start off with the gray wool. And with the gray wool, we're going to start at the very top right corner of this area. You see that it swoops up all the way up here. So we're going to start all the way up here. And we're going to start from the bottom block of these three black concretes here. So starting from this block. We're going to be placing three blocks going down on the left from it. So that's one, two, three. So it should look like this. Next, you're going to be placing two blocks going down on the left. That's one, two. And now we're going to be placing five blocks going diagonal down to the left. That's one, two, three. Oh, that's three, four, and five. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placement blocks. Set back down here, and from here we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the left. That's one, two. And now place seven blocks going down on the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Set back up, get rid of that placement block, head back down here. And from here we're going to be placing one block going down to the left. That's one. And now from this one block, we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the left. That's one, two. And now place one block going down to the left. That's one. Next, from here, we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the left. That's one, two. And once you've done that, you can see that we're making contact with this one black concrete here. So we're going to move underneath this one black concrete. And we're going to be adding one gray wool. So that's one gray wool underneath. And now from this one gray wool, we're going to be placing one gray wool going down to the left. So that's one. And now from this one block, we're going to be placing three blocks going down on the left. That's one, two, three. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal down to the left. So that's one, two, and three. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placement blocks. And I'm going to fly back a bit, just so you can see all the progress that we've done so far. Go ahead and pause the video now if you need to, just to compare. So now what we're going to do next is we're going to be switching over to the light gray wall. So let's switch over to the light gray wall. And we're going to apply it all the way down here. And with the light gray wall, we're going to be starting underneath this gray wall here. So starting underneath the gray wall, so starting from right here, with the light gray wall, we're going to be placing six blocks going diagonal up to the right. Six, six blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So now what we're going to be doing next is we're going to be switching over to the placement block and we're going to be adding a placement block on the left side of this light gray wall. So that's one placement block to the left. Switch over to the light gray wall starting on top of the placement block. We're going to be placing four blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one, two, three, and four. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placement and let's head back up here. And we're going to be switching over to the placement block at a placement block on top of the light gray wall. So that's one placement block. Now switch over to the light gray wall, starting on top of these placement, we're going to be adding six light gray walls going diagonal up to the right. So six diagonal up to the right, so that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Let's head back down, get rid of the placement block, head back up here. And now from here, we're going to be doing the same thing, switch over to the placement block, add a placement block on the left side of this light gray wall, so that's one placement block. Switch over to the light gray wall, add one light gray wall on top, so that's one light gray wall. 
Let's go ahead and get rid of the placement block and switch back over to the placement block. Add a placement block on top of the light gray wool, so that's one placement. And then switch back over to the light gray wool, add one light gray wool on top of the placement, so that's one. Let's go to the placement block. I'll fly back a bit so you can see that everything should look exactly like this so far. Now let's head back up here. We're going to quickly switch over to the gray wool. Now with the gray wool, we're going to move over here to the right, and we're going to be filling in this little empty space here that's surrounded by black concrete. We're going to fill, fill this in with the gray wool. So that's one, just one gray wool. So it looks like that. And then once we've done that, we're going to head back down here, and we're going to move to these two empty spaces here. Again, they're surrounded by the black concrete. So we're going to switch over to the gray concrete now. Now with the gray concrete, we're going to be filling... Uh, no, sorry, not with the gray concrete. We're going to be switching over to the light gray concrete. Now with the light gray concrete, we're going to be filling in this space and this space. And while we're here, let's go ahead and fill in this space as well. These three empty spaces get filled in with the light gray concrete. So fill this, this, and this with the light gray concrete. So it should, so it should look like this. Okay, so now that we have that done, what we're going to do next is we're going to be switching over to the light gray concrete and with the light gray concrete we're gonna head back up here let's go back to where we placed that one light gray wool now this empty space along with the other remaining empty spaces that are going all the way down here get filled in with the light gray concrete so let's go ahead and fill in these empty spaces just the ones that i showed you not the ones that uh, are still up there because we're gonna leave those empty spaces alone for now so i'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this okay just fill in those empty spaces with the light gray concrete. Now once you've done that, we're gonna head back up here. Let's go all the way back up here now. And right here, we're gonna be filling in just this one spot here with the light gray concrete. Let's fill that in. Once you've done that, you're gonna be placing one block going up to the right from here. So that's one light gray concrete. And then once we've done that, we're gonna move up here to the right. Let's go all the way up here to the right. And we're gonna move to the three gray wools that we have here. Underneath it, we're going to be adding one light gray concrete. So that's one light gray concrete. And then once you've done that, we're going to move over here to this empty space here. That's to the right of these three gray wools. Now, on top of this black concrete here, we're going to be adding one light gray concrete. So that's one. Now switch over to the light gray wool, add one light gray wool on top. So that's one light gray wool. And then switch back over to the light gray concrete and add one light gray concrete. So that's one. So I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. Now, once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the cyan terracotta. Now, with the cyan terracotta, let's take a good look at the outline that we've placed with the gray wool. Do you see this outline with gray wool? The empty spaces that are on the left side, these empty spaces on the left side of the gray wool, get filled in with the cyan terracotta, including that little empty space up there. So only the empty spaces here on the left get filled in with the cyan terracotta so let's fill this in and that I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this now once you've done that you're gonna be switching over to the light gray wool and with the light gray wool we're gonna be filling in the remaining of these spaces that are right here with the light gray wool so let's go ahead and fill those in there we go I'll fly back a bit again so you can see that it should look exactly like this Okay, so now that we have that done, we're going to move over here to the left. Let's start uh, working on this area. So we're going to switch over to the gray concrete. And with the gray concrete, we're going to move to these two black concretes. On the left side, we're going to be adding one gray concrete. So that's one gray concrete. And now we're going to be placing one block going up to the left. That's one. Now once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the gray wool. Now with the gray wool from this one block, we're going to be placing one gray wool going up to the right. So that's one. Once you've done that, starting on top of this gray wool, so from here, we're going to be adding three blocks going to the right. So that's one, two, three. And once we've done that, we're going to be switching over to the light gray concrete. Now with the light gray concrete from here, we're going to be placing three sets of twos going across on the lower level to the right. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, and one, two, three. Let's go ahead and go to those placements. Next, we're going to be placing three blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two, three. Now, once we've done that, we're going to head back over here to the left. Let's go back over here to the left. Let's switch over to the gray wool. Going back to this one gray concrete, with the gray wool, we're going to be placing one block going down to the left. That's one. 
Next, you're going to be placing two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two. And now we're going to be placing one gray wool underneath the left block of these two. So that's one gray wool underneath the left. And then once you've done that, what you're going to do next is you're going to be switching over to the light gray concrete. And with the light gray concrete, we're going to move to this one black wool here. Or not black wool, but black concrete. On the right side of it, so from here, we're going to be adding from here three blocks going to the right. So that's one, two, three. Now once you've done that, you're going to be moving down one block here. And on the right side of this black concrete, we're going to be adding four blocks going to the right. So that's one, two, three, four. Again, this is still with the light gray concrete. And now we're going to move one block down, and we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to be adding four blocks going to the right. So that's one, two, three, four. Once you've done that, we're going to move one block down, and from here we're going to be adding three blocks going to the right. That's one, two, three. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing one block going up to the right. That's one. And now from here we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. So that's one, two. Next, you're going to be placing one block going up to the left. That's one. And now we're going to be placing three blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two, three. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing four blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two, three, four. And now from here, we're going to be moving back over here to the right, and we're going to quickly switch over to the gray wool. Now with the gray wool, we're going to move to this one light gray concrete, and we're going to be adding one gray wool on top of it, so that's one. And now you're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the left, so that's one, two. Once you've done that, switch back over to the light gray wool, and with the light gray wool, we're going to move back up here to this one black concrete. On top of it, we're going to be adding one light gray wool, so that's one. And now from this one block, we're going to be placing two sets of twos going across on the lower level to the right. So that's one, oh, so that's one, two, one, and one, two, two. So I'm going to fly back a bit so you can see that everything should look exactly like this so far. Because now you're going to be switching over to the uh, cyan terracotta. And with the cyan terracotta, we're going to be filling in the remaining empty spaces here with the cyan terracotta. So let's go ahead and fill these in with the cyan terracotta now. I'll fill this in in real time with you, holding your hand while we fill this simple little empty space here with the cyan terracotta. There we go. So I'll fly back a bit again, just so you can see that it should look exactly like this. Okay, so now let's move back down here, continuing the path to this area here. It's going to be very simple, it's very straightforward. So let's go ahead and switch over to the cyan terracotta as our outlining block and with the cyan terracotta we're going to start at the very bottom of this empty space here so it's going to be on top of this one black concrete so starting from here with the cyan terracotta we're going to be placing two blocks going up so that's one two next you're going to be placing two sets of twos going across on the upper level to the left so that's one two one and one two two let's get rid of those and now from here we're going to be placing three blocks going across on the upper level to the left that's one, two, three. Let's get rid of the placement block. And now before we continue on, we're just going to quickly switch over to the light gray concrete. And we're going to be filling in these three empty spaces here with the light gray concrete. So let's fill these in. There we go. Now, we're going to switch over to the cyan terracotta again. Now, we're going to move over here to the right. Let's go to this one gray wool. Now, from this one gray wool, we're going to be placing... Four sets of twos going across on the upper level to the left. Four sets of twos. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, and one, two, four. That's four sets of twos. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. And now we're going to switch over to the light gray wool. Now with the light gray wool, we're going to be filling in these four empty spaces here with the light gray wool. So let's fill these in. There we go. And now once we've done that, what we're going to do next is we're just going to switch over to the placement block. Let's head back up here. We're going to be adding one placement block on top of this cyan terracotta. So that's one placement. And now we're going to be switching over to the gray wool. Now with the gray wool, we're going to be adding one gray wool on top of the placement block. So that's one gray wool. And now from this one block, we're going to be placing from here 
two sets of threes going across on the lower level to the right. Two sets of threes. So that's one, two, three, one, and one, two, three, two. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one and two. And now from here, we're going to quickly switch over to the Cyan Terracotta. And starting on top of the left block of these two, these two grays, so starting from here, we're going to be adding three, uh, not three, but four Cyan Terracottas going to the right. So that's one, two, three, four. And now we're going to be placing one Cyan Terracotta on top of the right block of these four. So that's one Cyan Terracotta on top. And then while we're here, let's go ahead and fill in this little empty space here underneath these four with the Cyan Terracotta. Let's fill this in with Cyan Terracotta. And now we're going to switch over to the light gray concrete. And with the light gray concrete, we're going to be filling in these empty space, these three empty spaces here with the light gray concrete. So let's fill these in with light gray concrete. There we go. So it should look like that so far. And now that we've done that, let's go ahead and switch over to the light gray wool. And now with the light gray wool, let's head back over here to the right, going back to this one cyan terracotta that we placed. Starting on the left side of it, we're going to be adding two light gray wools going to the left. So that's one, two. Next, you're going to be placing three blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two, three. And now we're going to be placing two sets of twos going across on the upper level to the left. So that's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. Once you've done that, switch over to the Cyan Terracotta, starting on the left side of these two light gray wool. So from here, we're going to be adding it two Cyan Terracottas going up. So that's one and two. Next, you're going to be switching over to the gray wool, and you're going to be filling in this empty space here with the gray wool. So fill this in with gray wool. And now that we've done that, let's switch back over to the light gray wool, and we're going to be move uh, back down here to this gray wool. On the left side of it, we're going to be adding two light gray wools going to the right. So that's one, two. And then we're going to move one down to these three gray wools. And on the right side of it, we're going to be adding one light gray wool to the right. So that's one. Once we've done that, let's head back up here. Let's go back to these three black concretes here on the right side of it, or I should say underneath the right block of these three. We're going to be adding from just from here, just going to be adding one light gray wool. So that's one. And now let's move over here to the right again, going to these three black Concretes underneath the right block from here. We're going to be adding two light gray wools going to the left. That's one and two. And now let's head back over here to the four black concretes. And starting underneath the right block, we're going to be adding three blocks going to the left. That's one, two, three. I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. Go ahead and pause the video now if you need to just to compare. So now we're going to go ahead and switch over to the sign, uh, not the sign, but the light gray concrete. Now with the light gray concrete, we're going to be filling in just the remaining empty spaces here with the light gray concrete. So let's go ahead and fill in these empty spaces here with the light gray concrete. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to move down here to the next two empty spaces here. It's going to be very quick here. Uh, we're going to start off by switching over to the light gray concrete as a main outline block real quick. And we're going to switch over to the placement block now. Starting from this area here, we're going to start at the very bottom. So on top of this gray wall, we're going to be adding one, uh, just one placement block. So that's one placement block. Switch over to the light gray concrete. Starting on top of the placement block, we're going to be placing five blocks going diagonal up to the, up to the left. So that's one, two, three four, and five. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. Let's head back up here. And from here, we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two. And now place four blocks going diagonal down to the right. That's one, two, three, and four. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. And once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the, or actually not just yet, we're going to move up here to the left before we switch over. Um, we're going to move up here to the very top, and we're going to be adding one light gray concrete underneath it, so that's one. And now we're going to be switching over to the cyan terracotta, and we're going to be adding one cyan terracotta underneath this light gray concrete, so that's one cyan terracotta. 
And now from this one block, we're going to be placing two sets of twos going across on the lower level to the right. So that's one, two, one. And one, two, two. Let's get rid of the placements. And once you've done that, you're going to be placing two blocks going down on the right. That's one, two. Next, we're going to be switching over to the gray wool, and with the gray wool starting from the bottom block of these two, uh, these two sign terracottas on the left side of it, so, so from here, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the left. So that's one, two. Next, you're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two. And I place one block going up to the left. That's one. Now, once you've done that, you're going to quickly switch back over to the cyan terracotta, and we're going to move back over here to the right. And we're going to be filling in just this one spot here with the cyan terracotta. Just fill this in with cyan terracotta. And once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the light gray wool. Now, with the light gray wool, we're going to be filling in these three empty spaces up here with the light gray wool. So let's fill this in with light gray wool. Like so. And then once you've done that, you're going to be switching back over to the cyan terracotta. And with the cyan terracotta, we're going to be filling in the remaining empty spaces that are right here. All of these empty spaces right here with the cyan terracotta. Let's fill this area in with the cyan terracotta. There we go. I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. Now we're going to be switching back over to the cyan terracotta as our main outline block. And we're going to head back down here. We're going to start uh, at the very bottom left uh, corner of this empty space. We're just going to be adding one cyan terracotta. So that's one. And while we're here, let's quickly switch over to the gray wool. We're going to be adding one gray wool going up to the right from this cyan terracotta. So that's one. And then add another gray wool going down to the right. So that's one. Let's go ahead and switch back over to the cyan terracotta. We're going to start at the very top of this empty space. So going all the way up here. Underneath this black concrete, we're going to be placing four blocks going diagonal down to the right. So that's one, two, three, four. Now, once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and switch over to the placement block. Add a placement block underneath the sign terracotta. So that's one placement block. And then switch back over to the sign terracotta. And starting underneath this placement block, so starting from here, we're going to be placing four blocks going diagonal up to the left. So that's one, two, three, and four. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placement blocks. I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. So let's go ahead and switch over to the light gray concrete. And with the light gray concrete, we're going to be filling in the remaining empty spaces here with the light gray concrete. So let's go ahead and fill those in with the light gray concrete. And I'll fly back a bit again just so you can see that it should look exactly like this. So while we've gotten that done, let's move over here to the right. Let's go ahead and uh, work on this little empty space here. This one's going to have a little, it's not as straightforward as the other ones, but let's go ahead and get this done. We're going to start off with the cyan terracotta. We're going to start at the very bottom left corner of this empty space. And we're going to be adding one cyan terracotta. So that's one. Then you're going to be switching over to the gray wool. Add one gray wool going up to the right. That's one. Switch back over to the cyan terracotta. Add one cyan terracotta going up to the right. That's one. And then once you've done that, what you're going to do next is you're going to be switching over to the light gray concrete. Starting back down here on the right side of the sign terracotta, we're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal up to the right. That's one, two, three. Next, you're going to be switching over to the gray wall, and we're going to be adding one gray wall on the right side of this sign terracotta, or not the sign terracotta, but this light gray concrete. On the right side of it, we're going to be adding one gray wall. So that's one gray wall. So it should look like this. Now we're going to be switching over to, uh, or not switching over, we're still with the gray wall. So we're going to move up here to this light gray concrete. And on top of this light gray concrete, we're going to be placing four blocks going diagonal down to the right. So that's one, two, three, and four. Let's go ahead and get rid of that placement block. And now that we've done that, we're going to be switching over to the light gray wool, and we're going to be filling in this empty space here with the light gray wool. So let's go ahead and fill this in with light gray wool. And once you've done that, we're going to move over here to the right side of this gray wool here that's making contact with the ground. So starting from here, we're going to be placing three light gray wools going diagonal up to the left. So that's one, two, three. 
Once you've done that, switch back over to the light gray concrete, and you're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the left. So that's one and two. And once you've done that, you're going to be placing one block going up to the right. That's one. Next, we're going to be switching over to the gray wool now. Let's switch over to the gray wool. And we're going to be placing one gray wool on top of this light gray concrete. So that's one gray wool. And then we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the right. That's one, two. Next, you're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal down to the right. That's one and two. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. Once you've done that, you're going to be switching back over to the light gray wool. And on the right side of this gray wool, we're going to be adding two light gray wools going to the right. That's one, two. And now switch back over to the gray wool. And we're going to be adding one gray wool underneath the right block of these two light gray wools. So that's one gray wool. And now place another gray wool going down to the right. That's one. Once you've done that, what you're going to do next is you're going to be switching over to the light gray concrete. And with the light gray concrete, we're going to move back to these two light gray wools. Starting on top of the left block of these two light gray wools. So starting from here, we're going to be adding three blocks going diagonal up to the left. So that's one, two, and three. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placement, and back up here. And from here, we're going to be placing three blocks going up on the left. That's one, two, three. Once you've done that, you're going to start uh, from the middle block of these three that we just placed on the right side of it. So from here, we're going to be adding just one light gray concrete. So that's one. So I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. Now, we're going to switch back over to the light gray wool. Let's head back down here. These two little empty spaces here in between the gray wool and the light gray concrete, only these two spaces here get filled in with the light gray wool. Let's fill this in with light gray wool. And then once you've done that, you're going to switch over to the cyan terracotta. And with the cyan terracotta, we're going to be filling in these four empty spaces down here with the cyan terracotta. So let's fill in these four empty spaces with the cyan terracotta. There we go. I'll fly back so you can see that it should look exactly like this so far. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to be switching over to the white concrete. Now, with the white concrete, we're going to move back over here to these two light gray walls that we have here going across. We're going to start on top of the right block of these two. So, starting from right here, we're going to be adding two white concretes going up. That's one, two. Now, starting from the bottom block of these two here that we just placed, so starting from here, we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal down to the right from it. So, that's one and two so it should look exactly like this okay so now that we've done that we're going to be switching over to the cyan terracotta let's switch over to the cyan terracotta now all right so switching over to the cyan terracotta let's head back up here let's go back to that one light gray concrete that we placed on the right side of the middle block of these three that we placed so starting on top of this one light gray concrete we're going to be placing four blocks going diagonal down to the right so that's one two three and four let's get rid of that placement and now once we've done that, we're going to be switching over to the light gray concrete. And starting from this cyan terracotta, we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the right. That's one, two. Next, you're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal down to the right. That's one, two, and three. Again, I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. Go ahead and pause the video now if you need to, just to compare. So now we're going to be switching over to the actually before we switch over to the filling in part let's uh let's go back up here let's fly back up here these two empty spaces that are up here this space here and this space here we're gonna go ahead and fill those in with the light gray concrete so fill this in with light gray concrete all right so once you've done that now you're going to be switching over to the light gray wall and with light gray wall we're going to be filling in the remaining empty spaces that we have here with the light gray wall so let's go ahead and fill all of these empty spaces here with the light gray wall like so there we go i'll fly back a bit again so you can see that everything should look exactly like this so far all right so uh let's go ahead and d do just one more little empty space for this part and this one right here uh, all it involves is just a little checkboard pattern 
going on since we're so good at that. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. We're going to start off with the light gray concrete. With the light gray concrete, we're going to go to the bottom left of this little small area here. On top of these two black concretes that are going up, we're going to start on top of it. So starting from here, we're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal down to the right with the light gray concrete. So that's one, two, three. Now, once you've done that, we're going to move over here to the right. And we're going to move back to back down to these four black concretes. So we're going to start on top of the right block of these four. So starting from here, we're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one, two, three. Again, that's with light gray concrete. And then once we've done that, what we're going to do next is we're going to be switching over to the gray wool. Now with the gray wool, we're going to be filling in the remaining of the space here with the checkboard pattern. So we're going to start from, let's say, right here, from this uh, light gray concrete. And we're going to be placing four gray wools going diagonal up to the left from it. So that's one, two, three, and four. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placement blocks. And you can see that uh, we're starting a pattern here. So let's switch over to the placement block, put a placement block on top of the gray wool. Switch over to the gray wool, starting on the right side of the placement. We're going to be adding four gray wools going diagonal down to the right. So that's one, two, three, and four. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placements. And then once again, same thing, placement block on top of this gray wool. Starting on the right side of this placement, we're going to be adding four gray wools going diagonal down to the right. So that's one, two, three, and four. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. And we're going to head back up here. And we're going to be adding one placement block on top of this gray wool. And then switch back over to the gray wool and add one gray wool on top of this placement block. So let's go ahead and get rid of that placement. I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. A very simple and easy checkboard pattern. And now that we have our checkboard pattern, we're going to be switching over to the cyan terracotta. And we're going to be filling in the remaining empty spaces here within this checkboard pattern with the cyan terracotta. So let's go ahead and fill this in with the cyan terracotta now. There we go. Very simple, very easy. There we go. So again, I'll fly back a bit so you can see that everything should look exactly like this. I'll give you a bigger view of all the progress that we've done so far in this pixel art tutorial. So again, you can go ahead and pause here and, and just double check. You never know. But by now, I'm pretty confident that you guys have not made a single mistake so far. So I'm going to go ahead and pause here and continue the Minecraft pixel art tutorial series for Pennywise in the next part. If you become a channel member today, you will instantly gain access to the other pixel art tutorial parts that the current channel members have access to. You'll also gain early access to the other pixel art tutorial parts that I'm working on. If you become a level 2 channel member, you'll have your name featured at the end of every Pawu video. And if you become a level 3 member, you'll have your name featured at the end of every Minecraft video, which includes the Pawu tutorial, timelapse, and showcase videos. Don't forget, the best way to get into contact with me is through my Discord. I'll be leaving a link to my Discord down below in the description. And if you're a channel member, you gain the channel member role within my Discord once you link your YouTube account with your Discord account. Once you're in my Discord, you have the opportunity to join my Minecraft realms where you have a chance to play survival or creative mode with me. And if you're a channel member, you'll gain access to the channel member realms. Also, don't forget about my other social media. I'll be leaving links to them down below in the description. And if you're on the Windows 10 edition or on the Xbox, my gamertag is Felix Squalman YT. Go ahead and send me a message or a screenshot of the progress you're making with this pixel art tutorial or any of my other pixel art tutorials. And of course, a big shout out to all my level 3 channel members. I greatly appreciate your support. I hope you all are enjoying the new channel member loyalty badges and emojis. I can't wait to see you flex them when I return to streaming again later this year. So with all that being said, make sure to stay tuned in for the next part of the Minecraft pixel art tutorial series for Pennywise. And make sure to stay tuned in for more Minecraft videos.